test is in order. Five enhanced clones, more capable than an army. Yet they exhibit a concerning level of disobedience in disregard for orders. Well, following the final season of the Clone Wars, uh, where we got to meet them, uh, it, it became clear that, that they were already fan favorites from back when these original story reels first aired in 2015. So because the fans love them, the idea was, you know, do the, do, do the, does this squad uh, have what it takes to run, to, to have their own show? And the more we started talking about what challenges they'll face uh, in a, in a post-Order 66 world, the more I think excited we all got about what we could do with them and what stories we could tell and what adventures they could go on. Uh, so that's really, that's really how it all sort of came to be, exploring a, exploring a post-Clone Wars universe. Done. You'll climb Force 99. You know who we are. Yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can speak to that. I think for all of those shows, one thing that's really fun about animated Star Wars is that we can, um, we can have our action be massive and big because it's all animated. So we can, we can, we can do quote unquote, whatever we want. Um, and then to be able to have those big action set pieces really, really pop. Um, it's always, of course, about the character emotion. And, and for our team, how we've gotten into more fidelity with the animation so that the facial expressions are even more um, detailed. Uh, it's just the technology has gotten better and better. And when you bring that together, the, the emotion and the action in this crazy Star Wars galaxy, animation is a really great medium for that. Um, and we're just having a lot of fun. Too. Rick here. Let's blow something up. Yeah! And cross here. Your move. Dave is uh, is very much a you know our our master Yoda if you will. Uh, he's such a mentor to to you know Brad and I. It's he's in, so integral to this process from early story conception all the way through you know post production and uh, his insights and his feedback really help propel these stories and and make them the best versions of their of of what they can be because we're just we're trying to tell these stories, develop these characters, but also keep it true to what Star Wars is at its core. And, um, you know, no one knows that better, better than Dave. So it, he's just been a great resource to have. And um, it's, it's a pleasure working with him and, and learning from him. Ha! We're all you need. I want Clone Force 99 found and wiped out. The galaxy's a dangerous place to be. Yeah, I mean, the, the production, I'd say for one episode is about a, a year all the way through. And so we end up working on multiple episodes at the same time. The pandemic has been a, a major challenge, um, but we, I, I think when we, when we talk about that, the real, the real truth of it is everything just takes a little longer or a lot longer for us to do, whether that's a, a conference meeting or the actual production of the animation. Everything just takes a little longer, um, which is when you're working on a show like The Bad Batch, the whole crew is just diving into it 100% head first. Um, and so it, make, it makes it a fun thing to do, kind of keeps us moving forward, but um, no doubt a challenge. But we, when we look at each episode as they come together, and like Jen was just saying about our reviews with Dave, um, we, as a group, we're seeing the episodes get better and better every time, and as opposed to the other way around, which is what you would worry about in a, in a situation like the pandemic. But no, it's a challenge, but we feel like we've been able to take it head on. We need to get out of here. What do you say, kid? You wanna come with us? How can I help? I would say keep drawing, keep writing. That's what I tell students all the time and my kids as well. If you really love it, you can do it. Just, just keep doing it. Same. Uh, <clears throat> if you're, you know, keep keep doing what you're doing because what what we need in TV and film are more voices and more perspectives. And um, yeah, like uh, the more the merrier. <laughs> the Clone Wars have ended. 
can either adapt and survive or die with the past. The decision is yours. We do what we do. Strap in, kid.